And once again, that's all-star Andrew Wiggins. It was absolutely amazing in the Western Conference Finals. But when you start looking into the numbers and you see the wins for the Warriors this postseason as opposed to the losses, it seems like Wiggins is the X factor there. Why do you suppose that is? Because he does all the dirty work without any fanfare. He's the former number one pick. He was rookie of the year. And yet, he takes the back seat to Draymond, Steph, Clay Thompson and others. But when you need him, he shows up every night. He's guarded the best offensive player in this playoff series. Every single series, every night, he scores, scores some timely buckets. And this is when I knew Andrew Wiggins was special, not when he was the number one pick. He played all 82 games, playing 40 minutes a game his rookie year. He followed that up his second year and played 81 games, if not all 82. That young man, just because he does it different, because he's not screaming and yelling in people's face or drawing the attention to himself, just because he does it different doesn't mean that he's a great player. But, Sam, why do you suppose it was going to work in Golden State when they were trying to figure out if they should bring him here or not? And then when he was early in his career, the effort he wanted to give on defense. Enlighten us on those two things. Well, that's the thing that was always amazing to me, people talk about he didn't play hard. I coached Andrew Wiggins for two years. Every night when I took over as head coach and we played a premier player, a perimeter player, he knocked on my door and said, Coach, I got James Hart. I got Jimmy Butler. I got LeBron. So we never had to worry about those things. And then when you look at his demeanor, people, normally the number one pick is about me, right? I'm the number one pick. I'm the rookie of the year. I'm supposed to be the guy. That's not who he is. He is a teammate. He is a guy that fits well within a unit. He's going to carve out a niche for himself like he's done in Golden State. And you have to appreciate what he brings to the table. And I knew that he would flourish in Golden State because Steve Kerr, Mike Brown, and others in that management, their temperament, how they talk to players, how they communicate with players. Andrew Wiggins is not a player that you need to yell and scream at. You can bring him in your office, Chris. I can bring him in my office and say anything I wanted to him, how I wanted to say it to him. And he never had a problem. He just don't respond to public criticism. And so there are a lot of people like that. And your job as the coach is to figure out what makes each and every player tick on your roster and coach them accordingly.